Welcome back to my little channel. Now, not too long ago, I did a stream with a bunch of great people and we talked about the idiocies of the coronavirus. And I can understand people not going to watch a two hour stream. So I thought, you know what, on some of the topics, I'm going to make short, fast videos just to get the point across. Okay, sounds nice. So how stupid are our elected officials in Europe? Well, probably not a lot more stupid than the Democrats in America, but they are vying for top contender, that is for sure. Now, what do I mean with that? Okay, so in Belgium, they are telling their people to stay indoors, try to have the country more or less on lockdown because, um, yeah, the virus. Okay, and then this happens. Illegal migrants are to be released from detention facilities due to coronavirus problems. Now, I would say the first problem is keep them off the streets. I mean, you're telling your own citizens to stay indoors or at least try to be as little outside as humanly possible. And then you're going to push a bunch of illegals out into the street. And it's almost as if it makes sense because the thing is, they need to do something with, the, with these um, immigrants because they're illegally here and um, yeah, they need to be brought back to the countries where they came from. But many countries from which the migrants have been flowing are now refusing to accept repatriation from Europe, allegedly due to the stresses of the coronavirus on their institutions or because international transport has become more difficult. Either way, they're stuck in Europe. They're now our problem. Funny how that goes. They come here illegally and then we need to deal with it. I have said this before. I think it's time that we went back to the old days of Fort Europa. That's not going to happen, but it would be nice. But so Belgium recognizes that, okay, we've got a bunch of... Um, illegal migrants, about 200, not, not that many, let's be honest, um, and we can't send them back to their countries of origin. Ah, well, in that case, set them out on the street. Seriously, in a time when people are being told to stay indoors. Now, it might not be nice for these people to be in detention, but at least they are indoors. But it seems that um, thinking about stuff is, is not something most politicians do. So, yeah, in a time when people are being told to stay indoors because of um, the sickness, <laughs> they're sending out a bunch of people with um, lesser than average health, because let's be honest, they come from countries where healthcare isn't as profound as it is in Europe. I'm not blaming these people. I blame them for being here illegally, but I don't blame them for the coronavirus. But the Belgian government is basically telling the world, and especially the Belgians, well, fuck you. I mean, I'm telling you to stay indoors, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll put illegals out on the street because uh, why the hell not? And this is not good for anyone. I mean, even the illegals, uh, whether you like them or not, the fact that they are now homeless roaming the streets while there is a pandemic going on might be less than optimal. And how long before prisons will be opened up? Oh, yeah, I know we've got prisoners here, but um, yeah, too many people in confined places. Um, eh, it's too bad for their health. Let's, let's send them all home. But they don't have a home to go to. Yeah, that's all right, as long as they're not here. Let's hope they're not that stupid when it comes to prisoners, right? But then again, these illegal migrants were prisoners and they did release them. Anyway, I am trying to grow my channel, so like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. I do look forward to hearing your criticism. And if you can help me grow my channel, I would really appreciate that too. And I hope to see you all next time.